Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review on my SEA Scott Full Face Respirator Gas Mask with NBC Filter. Now, these things retail pretty expensive. I got them from a great deal on eBay, brand new and everything. These are possibly one of the best gas masks, modern ones anyway, that you can get. So, it came in this gray kind of bag thing. I'll give you a little bit of a close up. Not too close, because my camera has a hard time focusing lately. So, this is the plastic case it comes in. And uh, I'm going to show you the actual thing. I already took it out and put it together and everything. So, this is the actual mask. This is the filter. It comes with a pre-filter as well. The actual filter will have this on it first. This is, goes on the bottom. you got to take that off. It comes with a few pre-filters. You put the pre-filter in this thing right here. I'll try and take it off real quick. It's a little bit of a pain to take on and off, but as you can see, this is what it looks like without the pre-filter. This is the pre-filter right here. It is removable. I'm going to remove that for you. It looks like this. There's a black one in there that is not a pre-filter. Just warning you guys. It goes in like that. You just put it in this, and then... Uh, uh, I like to line it up so because I'm a little tedious like that. And it will go in like that. And then you just snap it on to the actual filter. Now, I'm going to put the detailed specs of the filter in the video. There's a lot of things that it will filter. I'm going to go over a short list with you guys. And please excuse me if I say these names of these chemicals are wrong because some of these I just don't know how to pronounce correctly. So, this filter is used against particles, dust, smoke, fume, bacteria, viruses, biological warfare agents, and a wide variety of organic, inorganic, and acid gases and ammonia. Examples, sarin gas, nerve gas, mustard gas, canogen, I don't think I pronounced that right, phosgen, radioactive dust, toxic particles, aerosols, tear gas, bacteria, viruses, anthrax, smallpox, etc. Also provides protection against industrial gases such as ammonia, hydrogen, hydrogen cyanide, acid gases, chlorine, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen chloride, and many more. Now, I actually called SEA and asked if there was a comprehensive list of everything. And they told me that um, they don't really need to do that. There is, but... You, um, what happens is all of these things are basically the worst case scenario. It'll filter out basically everything. If it can filter those, it'll filter everything else out. So basically, it'll filter anything. I'm sure there's maybe a few things on the filter, but pretty much this is probably the best mask you could possibly get for the price. Like I said before, they retail for a few hundred. I got mine for 55 brand new. Pretty cool. I'm going to give you a bit of a close-up of this thing. Um, you can also get a special um, voice amplifier for this as well. Now this thing is pretty versatile. This part is rubberized so it stretches. If you go over there you'll see that's the inside of it and all everything. And um, I bet a lot of you want to see what it looks like when it's on. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on now. So yeah, uh, I don't know if you guys can hear me very well, but it appears that this thing has a voice diaphragm, which means that you should be able to talk to someone if they're close to you. Now, this thing is easier to talk through than my old SCHM 41M over there. I did a review on that, if you want to see that one, it's like a GP5, but not exactly. So this is what it looks like. There's a full 360 view for you. It's also got this, you know, so you can take it off and just hang it around your neck. Yeah, so it'll mess up your hair a little bit, just like it did mine. It's um, 
It's very comfortable. You get a complete panoramic view of everything. It does not cut your vision off. So that's a very good thing. And uh, like I said before, it appears to have a voice diaphragm, which basically means that it helps you to talk to people if you need to. But like I said before, I don't know if you heard me when I said this, but you can get a special voice amplifier. It's battery powered. It goes in your mask. It'll work. I don't have one, but I'm thinking about getting one. Now, some people, some of you people might be thinking, you know, why did I get a top-of-the-line gas mask? What, what use do I have for it? Well, uh, I'm planning a trip to Chernobyl, so I'd like to have some sort of protection. This is part one of a bunch of things I'm getting to help protect me when I'm in Chernobyl. And for those of you who think you can't go to Chernobyl, you're wrong. There's a tour group that takes you through Chernobyl and Pripyat. Yeah. You don't technically have to wear anything to go through there. But I'm not going to be stupid about it. I'm actually going to wear protective. Like an NBC suit, this gas mask, got a few filters. So, uh, this, this gas mask is NOSHA approved, by the way. It's just that good. And it's, it's dated to expire in 2023. So, this particular filter will last quite a long time if you don't use it. Um, when I'm done with this, I'm going to put the caps and everything back on it because I don't want to use the filter's life until I actually get to Chernobyl. So, what I'm getting in the meantime is I'm actually going to buy a M61 gas mask with an NBC filter because those are a lot cheaper. This thing is like worst case scenario kind of gas mask. M60 one is like one of those ones where it's like, yeah, it's not that bad of a situation. But um, I'm going to do a little more close-ups for you here. And if you see, it's got these, um, these hooks. These are for adjusting the rubberized um, head strap. Um, there's not really much else to say. Um... You know, I, I guess what I'll do is I'll, I'll take the filter off. And to my knowledge, I think these are 40 millimeter filters, uh, screws, or threads. So, if we uh, do a little close-up here, I don't want to do too close-up because otherwise the camera does not focus correctly for whatever reason. As you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it, it says NOSHA right there. It is NOSHA approved for those of you who want to use this for industrial uses. And um, it reads, Combination Chemical Cartridge and Particle Filter. Part number A-B-E-K-H-E-T. And A-B-E-K-H-E-D-P-T for full face pieces. And then it just goes on and on about these big ass numbers and stuff. And uh, it says high efficiency particulate filter for powered air purifying respirator. 99.97% filter efficiency level. Effective against all particle aerosols. And uh, I'll do like a little view right there for you. Hopefully the camera f uh, focuses on this correctly. Lately my camera's being really fussy. And I'll do like right there for you. And it's from SEA. I actually really, really like SEA. And I was really lucky to get these because the guy who sold them on eBay for this cheap ran out within a few hours after I ordered mine. So I'm really lucky to have it. And um, overall, this, this filter is probably one of the best ones you can get. 40 millimeter threads. Goes on a very comfortable full view gas mask. It's not like the classic military ones where they got two eyepieces where it cuts off your peripheral vision. These things you can actually see all the way. You know what? Just to give you a little example, let me see if I could do something here. If, uh, if I go like this, maybe you guys can see what I'm talking about. Hold on. See, this is what I see, basically. 
It's really clear, really easy. Get a few more close-ups on there for you. Overall, I really, really, really like this mask, and it's going to come in handy quite a bit. Um, but uh, like I said, I'm saving this for emergency or severe situations or for my trip to Chernobyl. So, um, that's about all there is to say. Um, look in the description for a bigger details on this mask, and if I can figure out the exact model, I will put it in the title of the video as well as the description. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, subscribe, comment, and uh, I will be buying a lot more gas masks. I'm actually going to start a collection. And some of these gas masks that I'm going to buy are going to be very, very rare. So, if you want to see these special, very rare gas masks, some even date, dated to pre World War II, please subscribe and keep posted on my updates and videos. So, thanks for watching. I hope it helped.